This is Doug Keeling, and I had a, uh, a comment from YouTube user Lisa Renee who asked how um, we could animate these lights, if that could be done easily in Photoshop, and the answer is yes. And so I thought, uh, hey, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. Let's just show you how to do that real, real fast. Um, so what we're going to do is take advantage of Photoshop's timeline features, and if you're not seeing the timeline window, it's usually either anchored to the bottom or else it may be hidden. So just go um, down to Timeline, and that'll pop that open. Let me move it up here so we can see it better. What you're going to do is just click on this button that says Create Frame Animation, or it might say Create Video Timeline. Just click that little drop-down arrow and make sure you click on Create Frame Animation and click the button. And what it does is it takes basically a snapshot of the layers that you have in their current configuration. So we already have a frame here where our lights are on. Basically all we want to do is create another frame where the lights are off. So just go down here and click on this button and that will duplicate this selected frame and so we have now our second frame and we're just going to go through and turn all these lights off. Now um, a few different ways you might want to do this but I'm just going to go into each one of these layers of the, the lights that are in front in this in front folder so all the lights that are in the front I'm going to first of all turn off the inner glow and the outer glow and then I'm going to select all three of these layers and go up to the fill and I'm going to hold the shift key and press the up and down arrow that'll go down by increments of 10 and so basically we want to see through the bulbs to a certain extent so it looks like if you take it down to about maybe 60 percent that'll give us at least a little bit of a difference in the opacity so you can kind of see through those and then you want to go into the lights that are behind the text and you want to do the same thing. Turn off the inner glow on each of these, turn off the outer glow, and then select all of those layers and bump the opacity of those, or the fill, I'm sorry, down to 60. And there you can see we have a little bit of transparency. You can see like the, the curve of the S coming through here and so on and so forth. And so that's what you want. Now, if we just go down and we click play, you see just one little flicker where they're like on and off. What we want this to do is to loop forever. So go ahead and click uh, that little drop down button here where it said once and change that to forever. That means it's just going to keep going. And then let's select both of these frames and let's change the duration of these to be about half a second. Now let's go ahead and click play again. And now you have blinking lights and I think that's more along the lines of what we were looking for. So let's uh, just kind of zoom out here and we've got a whole lot of room on this canvas so if I were going to like export this to Facebook I would probably want to do something that's cropped in a lot closer so let's change uh, we've gone to the crop tool I'm going to change the ratio so that I have a one by one uh, square proportion and I'm just gonna zoom right in like that and it doesn't look like it's centered hundred percent there so let's just fix that a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is make an animated GIF or GIF. I think I like to pronounce it GIF myself, but hey. Anyway, um, and so to do that, we have to save this for web. So if you go up to File and go down to Export, um, you should, if you're in CS6, you'll just see Save for Web. You'll just see that right in the file menu. But if you're in CC or CC 2015, uh, go up to Save for Web Legacy, and um, it's going to come up. It might have a different preset listed, but I'm just going to go up to the GIF, GIF 128 dithered, and I'm going to choose that. And then let's just change the size of this to something a little bit smaller than that. We'll just take it to a thousand pixels square, so this is in the image size setting. Um, all of the other options you can pretty much leave the same um, you could convert it to sRGB um, and then the looping options just make sure that that says forever which is good it's exactly what we want and then we want to just click save you'll choose where you want this to be saved at and I already have one in there so I'm going to click replace 
And then what you want to do is actually open this file. So go ahead and navigate to the folder where the file is sitting. Right click on it and you're just going to want to open it with something other than like Photoshop. By default, if I open, if I double click on this, it's going to open it in Photoshop or another image editor. I want to open this in a browser so I can kind of preview how this is going to look. So I'm going to open it with Google Chrome. And Chrome will open for us here and there you go. There is exactly what our GIF GIF is going to look like when it's uploaded to Facebook or wherever you put it um, or in your email template or whatever. You can also see that uh, you can do a lot more complicated uh, animations and so in this case we've now got the lights cycling through you know being turned off and turned on uh, and that was just a, as you saw me do there hopefully I sped it up so you could see it just a matter of going through and changing the layer styles of the red lights so that they're kind of look they look like they're on in one frame and then blue lights so it's a matter of just turning off on and off each color as you go along so it can be tedious if you add a whole bunch of colors or if you want to do, you know, really complex animations, you could have them like cycle through once where they where you know, the colors like this come on individually and then have them all come on and flash or whatever. So there are a whole lot of different options that you can do to animate these and, and make them look the way you want to look. It is just a little time consuming if you have a whole bunch of layers. So, all right, with that, I hope this was uh, helpful to you and enjoyable. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.